This video explains one of four ways on how to configure SSL printing with Brother devices. Links to the other configuration methods can be found in the description. You may have noticed that two of these methods both use a self-signed certificate. While they are both self-signed, the following attributes are fixed and unchangeable on the standard certificate. This is because it comes pre-installed onto all supporting Brother devices by default. A custom self-signed certificate lets you change them. I will show you how to do this in this video. Please note that I will be using a Brother MFCL 6800DW during this video. The way to configure other Brother models may be slightly different. I will also be using Windows 10 to create the print queue. SSL encrypted printing is also supported by macOS and a wide range of Linux distributions. Before we can create an SSL encrypted print queue, first we need to create and install a custom certificate onto your brother device. After this, we will need to get your computer to trust this certificate when your brother device sends it a copy to establish a secure connection. The first three parts of this video show you how to do these things before moving on to the steps required to create the SSL protected print queue. First, you need to open your preferred web browser. From its address bar, type the IP address or node name of your brother device in order to access its internal web server. Type in the device's admin password. Then click the Network tab. Click the network interface that your brother device is using. In this example, my MFCL 6800DW is connected to my network using its wired interface. Then click the Node Name option. Take note of your brother device's node name as it may be required later on. Click the Security sub tab. Then click the Certificate option. From here, click the Create Self Signed Certificate link. Notice that the common name of the certificate is the same as the brother device's node name you saw earlier. This will be the identity of your public certificate and will be used to identify your brother device when connecting to it from a computer using an SSL secure connection. You can leave this name as is or replace it with the brother device's IP address. Note that if you do use its IP address, I highly recommend that it is statically assigned and not dynamic. Alternatively, you can also use a fully qualified domain name, FQDN. I will use this name later on when creating the secure SSL encrypted print queue. Here is where you specify the length of time the public certificate needs to be valid for before needing to create and install a new one. These two options are related to the strength of the security. Note that your brother device will print a little slower the stronger you make it. This is because the brother device will need more time to decode stronger encryptions. Click the submit button when you are ready to create the self-signed public certificate and private key. After a few moments, the Brother device will return you to the Certificate Overview screen where you will be able to see your newly created certificate. Now you will need to tell the Brother device how to use it. To do this, click the Network sub-tab. Then click the Protocol option. From here, 
click the HTTP server settings link next to the web-based management option. Select the certificate you recently created from the Select the Certificate drop-down menu. Then enable or disable the range of protocols shown here. Web-based management means connecting to the Brother device using a web browser. It's the connection you have right now to your Brother device. These are the protocols used for encrypted and unencrypted print. This enables you to disable any unsecured communication the Brother device makes to the internet that uses HTTP. When you have made your selections, click the Submit button. Before these settings can take effect, your Brother device needs to be restarted. Click the Yes button to do this. After a few short moments, your Brother device will restart. After your Brother device restarts and the web page reloads, you may notice that your web browser displays a security warning message similar to this one. This is because your computer doesn't trust the certificate issued to it by your Brother device. This is perfectly normal behaviour for any self-signed certificate that your computer isn't configured to recognise. This means that you need to do a few extra things to get your computer to recognise your Brother device's self-signed certificate. To do this, click the Advanced button from the security warning message. Then click the button or link that lets you connect to your Brother device's internal web server. From your browser's address bar, click the additional security warning message. From the pop-up menu, find and click the invalid certificate warning. It may look slightly different on your web browser. A new window will open. From it, click the Details tab. From there, click the Copy to File button. From the Certificate Export window, click the Next button. Leave this default option selected, then click the Next button. Click the Browse button to select the location on your computer where you want to export the self-signed public certificate. When you have done this, click the Next button. Then click the Finish button. If you see this pop-up message, click the OK button. Then finally, click the OK button from the certificate window to close it. It is important to note here that the certificate you just exported is unique to the Brother device that you got it from. This means that if you have two or more Brother devices, you will need to repeat this creation and export process for each of them to retrieve their unique certificates, regardless of whether they are the same model or something different. Now that you have exported the certificate, the next task is to install it to a specific location on your computer this location is called the Trusted Root Certification Authority Store. This will tell your computer to trust the Brother device's self-signed certificate you just created and exported and allow you to print using SSL. To do this, go to the location on your computer where you recently exported the self-signed certificate and double-click it. A new window will open. From it, click the Install Certificate button. 
This part of the import wizard wants to know if the public certificate should only affect the user who is currently logged into the computer, or everyone. If you want it to affect everyone, click the local machine option. This is recommended for shared computers that have multiple users access in them. Then click the next button. Select the option place all certificates in the following store. Then click the browse button. From the list of stores, select the Trusted Root Certification Authority store. Then click the OK button. Click the Next button. Finally, click the Finish button. Take note of the certificate's issue 2 name. You will need it later on when creating the SSL encrypted print queue. This is also known as the common name of the certificate, which you configured earlier on. The final part of installing SSL print using a self-signed certificate is to create the secure SSL connection or print queue. One way to do this is by using the Windows control panel. Click the View Devices and Printers link. Then click the Add a Printer button. What Windows will do now is search your network for available print devices. I will show you how to do this manually by clicking the option the printer that I want isn't listed. Select the option select a shared printer by name. In the location field underneath type HTTPS then a colon and two forward slashes. Followed by the issue 2 name on the certificate you recently installed to your computer. In this example, it is Brother MFC. When you have typed this name, click the Next button. Your computer will try to connect to your Brother device using SSL. If you did not type the name of the certificate correctly, or if you did not install the self-signed certificate into the correct certificate store, you will see this error message. If you do, please re-watch this video and check your settings. If the connection was successful, click the Next button. Decide if you want to set this device as your default printer, then click the Finish button. The secure SSL connection to your brother device will now be ready. Even after installing the self-signed certificate, you may still see a security warning message when connecting to your brother device from a web browser using HTTPS. This is normal behavior for most modern web browsers because the certificate still does not match all its strict security requirements. It is intended to protect you from external websites that may contain troublesome code and not to stop you from connecting to internal network devices such as brother printers. In other words, it is safe to ignore this warning message to connect to your brother device's internal web server. Thank you.